In today's video, we are going to be talking the Witcher Monster Slayer and more specifically, how to gain XP. And the way you gain XP in this game is by battling. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to engage this pixie right here and I'm just going to throw in the basic Witcher's Silver Sword. And for just a basic battle, it doesn't even matter what sword you use. So the basic, the most basic way that you can come up with XP is just by beating a creature. So what I'm, or a monster, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to do straight through. I'm not gonna do anything special, nothing fancy. You see my crit meter, I'm just gonna let it bypass and I'm not blocking anything. I am just attacking and you knock out the creature and then you're going to gain 100 XP if it's a common monster, 250 XP if it's a rare monster and a whopping 600 XP if it is a legendary monster. 100 XP for defeating a monster may not seem that bad, but if we go and look at my character, I'm level 17 and I need 16,000 XP in order to get to the next level. 100 XP at a time, and that is gonna take quite a while. So what we need to do is start adding some bonuses in. The easiest bonuses that you can add in are perfect parries and perfect critical attacks. And successfully doing both of those will grant you 15 XP each. Now, one thing that you do need to know here is they do not stack. So if in this battle that I'm about to do, let's say I do three perfect criticals, I'm still only gonna get credit for one. If I do three or four perfect parries, I'm still only going to get 15 bonus XP because it only counts once. And there you go, a nice little knockout. And as you will see, monster defeated, 100 XP that we already knew about, perfect parrying, 15 XP, and perfect critical hits, an additional 15 XP for a bonus of 30 total. Now, one thing to note here, this Drowner actually had a move that did two attacks. Well, you only have to perfectly parry one of those two attacks in order to get the bonus credit. 130 XP is not bad, right? It's 30% more than if we just defeated a monster. But let's see if we can dial that up even more. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to engage this Wyvern. We are going to use the right oil, and then we're gonna do it quickly, and we're gonna see if we can dial it up even more and gain more XP because you get bonuses for A, using the correct oil and B, finishing a battle quickly. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to this Morhen Steel Sword that was given if you logged into the game within the first week. That's going to give you an additional 10 XP for successfully completing a battle. And for a creature as easy as this, using an oil is pretty much a waste unless you're just trying to grind XP. My only worry here is that it is vulnerable to strong attacks and the fast attacks typically finish things quicker. That was pretty fast. Let's see if it was fast enough. So there you go. Proper oil used, 50 XP. Monster defeated, 100 XP. Time bonus, 20 XP. And this experience bonus is gonna be because I used the, the steel sword that I mentioned a moment ago. Now, once you start getting a lot more experience at this, you can start mixing in your critical hits. You can start mixing in your perfect parries to go with your time bonus and your proper oil bonus. And that means you will be getting a whopping 210 XP for defeating an easy monster. The next way to really turn up your XP gaining experience is gonna start costing you gold. If you go into the shop and then go to your equipment, there is a sword, I believe it's called the Abeth sword. It costs 12,000 coins, but it is going to increase your XP from killing monsters by 25%. And if you're just throwing gold around like it's nothing, then you might as well add in more in armor, also 12,000 gold, but is going to increase your XP gained by another 25%. So that's gonna add another 50% total when you combine the two. There is one other item that you can buy in the shop that is going to increase your experience gained from winning a battle, but I'm gonna save that for a little bit later in the video. Before I show you the two best ways to gain XP in Witcher Monster Slayer, I do have to let you know that whenever you battle a new monster for the first time and defeat it, you're going to gain 100 XP. I didn't show that earlier. Additionally, a lot of the quests in this game are going to award you XP upon completion as well. And all of that brings us to the Nemeten. It is a three-step battle. You're going to do two easy opponents, relatively easy opponents, and then the boss, which is going to be significantly more difficult, and they can either be medium difficulty or hard difficulty, and I believe you can even get an extreme on a rare occasion. And all the same battle principles apply, using the right oil, using the right swords, doing parries, 
doing critical hits. And you're going to get XP for defeating the creature, and that counts for each creature that you defeat. And then if you look at the top left of my screen here, you will see that you're going to gain an additional 250 XP for completing the entire thing. There's my entire loadout right there. I've got a bomb, I've got the right oil, I've got the thunderbolt oil, and I've got the steel sword so that my damage is doing even more damage. All the steps knocked out, one, two, three, a new trophy. I wonder if that means that I defeated a new creature. Let's look at all the different things. So, monster defeated, 300 XP, first time kill, the bonus XP that I was telling you about that I didn't come across the first time. Perfect parrying, it doesn't matter which level you do your perfect parrying, it's going to count the 15 XP across the entire thing. Proper oil use, 50 XP. Nimitin cleared 250 XP experience bonus 30 XP the only thing that I didn't get here was the perfect critical hit so now the question that you're probably asking yourself is well if I get so much XP for doing the Nimitin why don't I just farm Nimitins well the developers were ahead of you on this one and they lock them you can only do one every 24 hours well you can only do the same one every 24 hours you can do three a day and you can do as many as you want but you can do three a day and get the coins so you're a little bit limited to how much accessibility you have and how many Nemetins you have in your area. But there is a way around that. What I've done is I've gone in and I've purchased an experience scroll. Now if you look at this, a booster that increases experience gain 100% that lasts for 30 minutes. So I'm going to enact that. Now we do have the small problem of the Nemetin, right? Well, I just so happen to have two monster bait, which is going to lure out monsters from a Nemetin that has already been completed and is on cooldown. So as you can see, I'm going to get 500 XP now because it is all doubled. And this right here is the single best way to farm XP in the game. I have my full loadout ready to go and uh, the Forktail is the lead monster here. Hopefully this only takes me one try and then we will compare to see just exactly how much XP we can get. Hopefully I get that critical hit perfect this time around. Beautifully done there. The, the strong attacks are a lot more difficult for me to do. But let's look, look over and see everything that we got here. So monster defeated 300, perfect parrying 15, proper oil 50, Nemetin cleared 500, experience bonus 895 XP, which um, looks like they're not giving me credit for a perfect crit again, but you see the total there of 1760 XP. That is by far and away the single best way to get XP in the game. But as I mentioned, you can gain XP from some of the different quests in the game. In fact, right here is a playlist where you can watch the different playthroughs of these different quests.